Hello, my dear friends. We live in a challenging time, and so it's always wonderful when we are awakened with a word from the Lord. And I woke up last week with the word, the champion. And so the Lord began to give me a word for us about the champion. Not the kind of champion that goes out and wins games and is so good at what they do that they garner attention and accolades for themselves. But my heart longs for the other kind of champion whose desire is for me. One who believes in me, who promotes me, who wants others to know about me, who watches for opportunities to let others know about my great exploits and my abilities, about the benefits that I could have for others. The true champion stands behind you and pushes you forward and protects you, defends you, and creates opportunities for you to thrive, for you to fulfill the destiny that you were created for. He takes up and contend for your cause. My heart longs for that one who may have cloud or power or influence, but his heart is to use that power for me. To champion someone means to make a way for them, to be bigger than they are and more powerful than they are, and yet still have that heart for me. A champion is someone who recognizes your worth, who is proud of your your worth. A champion is someone who loves you and overlooks your weaknesses and encourages your strength. A champion is someone who trains you and applauds your efforts and brags about you to their friends. A champion is someone who is there for you in your darkest moments and, and your deepest doubts of yourself with the ability to cheer you on and cheer you up and stand beside you saying, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can. A champion teaches you to believe in yourself, teaches you that when the chips are down, they'll hold you up. They'll carry you if necessary until you get over the weakness. Your champion is not someone who will kick you when you're down, who will laugh at you when you're hurting or chastise you when you're upset. A champion is one who loves and on that love can depend. A champion is someone who's always there, always there for you. God created us to champion one another. God created us to be each other's greatest fan. That's what God had in mind when he said, love one another as I have loved you. He created us to champion one another and to prefer one another. God created champions not just to excel and to leap over walls, but to have one another's backs, to believe in one another to not look at faults and weaknesses, but to look deep inside and see the strength and pull those strengths out and encourage those strengths to grow, to shine on and water and fertilize those strengths until they become great and powerful the way they were created to be. Beloved, let us love one another as Christ loved the church. Let us love one another, stand behind one another, Stand beside one another and create the wind that blows us forward. Let us be that champion. Because when we are that champion for others, then they'll be that champion for us. Let us truly love one another so that our words are words of life for one another, so that our words are words of hope for one another, so that our words build up and propel one another forward to that goal, to that prize, that mark toward which we are all racing. Let us pick one another up. Let us use the Sam Samaritan's example and cross the road and anoint and tend the wounds and bring one who is near death to life again. That's what a champion does. That's what one who truly loves does. Beloved, let us love one another in this hour with the eternal love that never fails. That's a true champion. I need it, and you need it. So let's be that for one another. Let's rise from the pits of self-pity, self-consciousness, self-despair, and self-absorption to look for those to love, look for those to encourage. Let's truly, passionately, and wholeheartedly love one another, be their champion. Let us be the champion to one another that Jesus is to all in his Father's creation. Let us be.
love one another is necessary. 